homemade pasta is a true art form. If you've always wanted to learn how to make them, there's an upcoming class at Italy Chicago. Could also be a fun date night idea. Yeah, so joining us now is David Malzahn from Italy, who's teaching us in studio today. David, how are you? I am doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks yourself. for being here. So Thank you. for you've been with Italy since the beginning. For anyone who may not know what it is, can you give us a quick rundown? Okay. Yeah. Qu yeah. Quick rundown. Yeah. We started off in uh, 2003. Uh -huh. Our founder, Oscar Ferranetti, opened the first uh, Italy in Italy. And since then, now in 2023, we've got over 40 markets in uh, more than 10 countries, okay? And under one roof, what you're finding is excellence in uh, Italian restaurants, excellence in Italian products, and of course, the thing why I'm here is to teach you a little bit about uh, pasta yes. and our school. And of course, the best Italy is the one here in Chicago. Uh, of course. <laughs> be silly not to be. And you have a cooking school. Like yeah, a, we do. Yeah. It's our La Scuola. And it's been there since uh, 2013. And we're going to take you through, actually, uh, kind of a class, if you will. Okay. We're going to enroll you uh -oh. uh -huh. into a little class. You guys ready to do uh, this? I yes. think. I'm nervous yeah. that we're going to fail so. you, but yes. <laughs> now, here's what you have to, here's the level you have to play to. Okay, okay this level right here. Can this, I taste it? Uh, you may, actually. You want <laughs> to? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh, you get to taste, taste, taste it before, so we know. Absolutely. I know what i got to yeah. work for. Okay. Towards. Okay. Now, this is, this right. is called. What kind of pasta is this? This is cavatelli pasta, okay? And it's with a pomodoro sauce. So really just tomato sauce with Mm -hmm. A real simple, uh, simple pasta, and this is one of my favorite classes. It's mm -hmm. strictly uh, shaping pastas, mm. okay? And you think we can do that? I, <laughs> no, I'm convinced okay. you can do it. Okay. Yeah. Trust okay. me, if I can do right, it, right, right. if I can do okay. it, you guys can do this, okay? Um, usually, when we do these classes, it starts off with um, either Chef Jose or Chef Alex or myself. Uh, we bring everybody and our guests in, and they stand around the table, and we actually make the dough, the dough that we have here. And obviously, we don't time constriction. We right. can't really necessarily make the dough in house right. here. But we start off with just two ingredients: a little bit of semolina flour and water, uh, and that's it. Real simple pasta. I know it has to be special flour, though, right? Doesn't have to be good flour. Well, it does have to be a good flour. It's a semolina flour. Go ahead, just touch that okay. flour real quick. And that's why you know, of course, Italy sells the best Ooh, flowers all yeah, kinds, right? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got it. Okay. But semolina flour and water, unlike the uh, pastas in the north, pastas in the south, like the one we're going to do here, typically are just semolina flour and water. That's okay. it. It's the most simplest thing to do, and I enjoy these classes because uh, it's good for all ages. The classes that we teach go from all skill levels and all ages at that right. point. So, in fact, I love when I get to teach like my friends' kids yes, how to make pasta awesome. and stuff. Hey. stuff oh, and like here's that. the classroom. I love where you're at. Okay. Uh, yes, Wait, where's cool. the wine? <laughs> I got bottles all around you for crying out loud. No glasses. No, nobody told me it was Thirsty Thursday, and I said, "What well, I came prepared." Um, but we've got the pasta here. Um, okay. Again, we started off right here. We're getting okay. to this right here. All right, uh, gals, I need you to take the little ball that you have okay. here. Okay. Uh huh. And we're just gonna make a little ball. Now we're gonna make a cigar. Okay. Oh. Cigar. Put a little cigar on. Nice. Okay. Okay. This is the Italian variety, not Cuban. It is exactly <laughs> what it is. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch it out a little bit. And this is this is the sometimes the tricky part. Start in the middle and work your way on out with your fingers. Oh, okay. okay. See how it's getting a little bit thinner. Yeah. Uh -huh. Otherwise it'll be all wonky. Exactly. Yeah. And we want to get it to a little bit a little bit thinner than a magic marker, maybe. Okay. Is there such thing as a magic marker? Yes. Yeah. There's there's still, okay. Okay. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut these guys into what look like little chiclets. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, just like this. You guys can do that. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Dun, dun, dun. Go, G. Go, G. You I'm got just, it. You got I'm it. I'm trying to be fast. Ooh, you almost lost a finger there, Sarah. <laughs> okay. I'm a trained professional. Are you supposed to go like this or slice? Yeah, you can. Does it slice matter? Either way. It's pretty sharp. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, okay. once, again, this is easy enough for uh, uh, <laughs> even a kid could do this one. Okay? <laughs> Guys, this is called a gnocchi board. Now, uh, cavatelli, a couple ways you can do it. The first way you can do cavatelli, which is the basic way to do it, is just take three fingers, press it in here, watch. All it does is make a little cave. Okay? All I'm doing is making a little oh, cave inside of it. It's very hard to see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Yes. That's the basic way. We're going to make it a little bit different than that. We're going to use this, which is a gnocchi board. Okay. You guys like gnocchi? Love it. Yes. Of course. This I feel is like kind you of... have magic fingers. I don't, wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. First thing we want to do uh -huh. is, oh, before we should start with this, um, thumbs up. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Turn to the side. Put it on your gnocchi board. Oh. And sweet. then just do this. No rolling your thumb, just sliding down. down. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. okay, now we're going to take the little piece of gnocchi, uh -huh. okay, or the little piece of cavatelli or dough right here. Then we're just going to drag it down. Watch as it goes right across my finger. You got it. Whoa! What? Nice. Isn't that crazy? Mind blowing, oh right? Dude, come on! Another one. You got to do another one. We got to. What? 
You That's want to get that how knife? you guys do this? It, yes, yeah. all day long. There's just one person who does it all day long. What? It's me. Well, one I'm side kidding. of it isn't done, though. I just buy these in a little box, and I never knew this is how you do <laughs> it. This is but so you see cool. How easy, that's good. You got it. That was good? What? Yeah, okay, absolutely. It's good. Now, you see how easy how easy this is. At Italy, we have three words we believe in, and that's eat, shop, and learn. Eat, obviously, is something Love you it. do at our restaurant. Yes. Shop is something you do at our retail counters okay. and a fresh market at that point. And then learn is the thing you do at school. And for me, the learning part of it is really the the kicker. Uh, reason being is that at restaurants, you have that meal, you have the memory. Okay. Right. Yeah, the that's true. retail thing, you may cook a meal and you uh -huh. have that memory with your family at that right. point. But this is something, once you learn how to make something, it's yes. with you forever. You've taught us. You've taught us how satisfying. to fish, basically. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Teach okay. a man how to so fish. So then, really quickly, we were, <laughs> yeah. then we would boil this and then Absolutely. What buy we would a do? sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't buy sauce, my friend. We don't buy sauce. <laughs> buy a sauce to put no, on no, 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 no. There's, there's no, there's no buying sauce. Okay. There's no buying You're sauce. You're going to ruin my noodles with your store bought sauce. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make the sauce right here, okay? Yeah. We're not going to make it right now, but just yeah. to kind of a okay, yeah. You'd make it. How simple this is, okay? We're talking about just a can of tomatoes, tomatoes. a little bit of sea salt I'll at that point, a little bit oil. of olive oil, and basil. That is it. All we do Beautiful. is simmer it at that point, and we dress it. Now, you guys already tasted it. I didn't even get to finish so it with a little good. basil. Sorry, I was so hungry. I could do this all day. This is very satisfying. It's, it's so great. therapeutic, right? <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm going to let you finish that up, and I'm going to tell everybody how they can get hands-on at Italy uh, with fresh pasta-making workshop. It's this Sunday, November 19th at oh, Italy, Chicago. That basil smells so good. good. Head over to their website <laughs> to reserve your spot, clearly. I mean, if Chef can teach Sarah Ooh. and I, he can teach you.